Hello, my name is Paul Coburn from Mill Park Physiotherapy. And today we're going to talk to Tanya Pizzari, one of our senior physiotherapists, about managing a particular shoulder injury that occurs with people doing weights, the bench press. Tanya, we often have patients coming in that get pain after having done bench press. Can you tell us about why that happens and the best way to prevent it? Absolutely, so they might actually get pain while doing bench press as well as afterwards and it's commonly just caused by a technique problem. Uh, so Jack might actually demonstrate the error that is often made when you do bench press and the errors are that first of all the back is fairly flat some people actually lift up their legs, which is, uh, really flattens out the back, which is actually not a good idea. Uh, so pop your legs down there, Jack. And the other error is that when people can't bring the bar down, they hit very high on their chest and their elbows go right almost at 90 degrees to their body. So they're going down uh, with their elbows actually quite high. And what that does is actually really strains, you right there, Jack? Really strains the front of the shoulder. Uh, so particularly the bicep long head and people get quite a bit of pain from doing that. And if you uh, add that on top of someone who's got a little bit of instability, then it becomes a big, big problem. So the way it should be done, so Jack's going to demonstrate, but you really need to tuck, get a big arch in there. So your bum and your shoulders have to try and get as close as they can. So you've really got a nice arch in there. And some people aren't going to get as high as Jack, and that's okay, but it's a good start to just try and get that as much of an arch as you can. And then lifting out the bar, shoulder blades really tight in the back, so you can see he sinks his shoulder blades back. The bar trajectory actually comes down quite low, and his elbows come much closer to his body. So they're not up at the level of his shoulders, they're down towards his body, and then come back up towards the spotter from there. So this is very important because a lot of the people we see with this injury can be actually quite big, pretty strong, and yep. still have quite a damaged shoulder from an incorrect uh, technique over a large number of years. Yeah, absolutely. So not only uh, are they doing often lots of repetitions of an exercise, but they're doing repetitions with a lot of weight. And look, this technique, when people first start, they might not like as much because they often have to drop their weights. So some people we find are a bit resistant, but over time you'll actually increase your bench uh, capacity um, much greater than if you just stay with that the other technique. Because that other technique kind of has a limit to how much you can handle. If you start doing the technique correctly, there's really no limit and you can start to really increase. So if you have a shoulder injury, the person to come and speak to is Tanya Pizzari here at Mill Park Physiotherapy. Our phone number is 9436 9666 or millparkphysiotherapy.com.au.